Hey everybody, Dance Crazy Kirk Connection. All right, so I wanted to give you guys an update. It's been raining like a lot, but then if you look, oh, nice, nice and sunny. Sorry. Uh, okay, so I'm working on the second top. Oh, you can see, you know, do the whole, hey, leave a lot of extra gap kind of thing. And then um, uh, you can see I've did the, see, it's like I still have the uh, other top that I'm working on, but I'm getting it, you know, trying to figure out how I want to do things. Um, I'm actually going to put a seat belt up here, uh, kind of like a, maybe a lap belt. What I'm going to try to do is use the ones I have. You can see over there, I've got the one right here. Ah, oh, wait. I can't see because the reflection is too crazy. Uh, there we go. But yeah, I got you know, got a bolt here. It's uh, hidden behind the panel here, right down there. You can see that, and uh, it's got the other piece here. And then I have a seat, seat part there, and then uh, put everything together. Um, give you an update on the seat. Um, Still, before I can finish the canopy, I've got to build some uh, ribs for the top. Seats are starting to come come in together. Um, this is what the back is looking like so far. Uh, I gotta tack weld it here and then down there, and then figure out the back piece. But this is actually the right right height and everything that I want to do. Um, working on the other pieces, trying to figure it all out. Uh, I'll have to build the cage. Um, I still want to do a, a window there, uh, but other than that, it's not too new, not doing too bad. I've got the tailgate down. You can see here, uh, I have a dish. I have a, my my tailgate is green versus you know the rest of the vehicle that was originally green but kind of sprayed over white. So I've got some side windows I want to put in to try to make it you know more things and then figure out how to do the back for a back window kind of thing. I'm trying to use uh, some stuff I got from a Wrangler as I'm trying to uh, modify it to fit in here and work with that so if you guys like what I'm doing uh, go ahead and subscribe um, I'll try to keep you updated as much as possible uh, I've got a wiring harness for this thing I've got power stroke motor I want to put in it Dana 60s front and Dana 70 rear uh, front out of the you know the donor vehicle over here I've got a couple different tanks I'm going to use for options I'm trying to figure it all out so um if you uh, like what I'm doing, I'm just go ahead and subscribe. Uh, some people have asked, hey, why are you getting rid of the 24 volt system? Because it's not functional. Part of it is, but part of it's not. Like this down here, the, I've got to drill out these uh, screws because the screws broke. All of them did. And so I do like the, the lights, you know, the whole blackout and all the other things that go with it. I'm um, trying to see what I can do to keep that part of the nostalgia piece of it. I like that it's like, uh, I don't know what kind of paint they use, but... Uh, it was white on top of green and so this was originally green and so I like the whole paint you know the, the, the look of the it's all faded here and peeling and coming out through and it's just like you know it, it, it's kind of like a military so it's more of a because it is a military vehicle and it's got a veterans plate on it it's like one of those things like hey yeah I gotta you know paint the, the snow white back that was, you know, originally on there. I don't know why they called it Snow White, but I think it's funny. So, uh, I did find the blinkers, or not the blinkers, the reflectors that are on the sides here. Uh, we have them at Napa. Same exact design and everything. So, that's kind of nice. There's some on the tailgate, too. You can see that, you know, like right there and over there. But you can see the... I want to paint the, the, the Jeep part of the tailgate to stand out kind of thing. So... But, um, so, well, I hope you're having a great day. Thanks. And, so, and uh, subscribe.